Now, it's been nearly three years since Meghan Markle and Prince Harry dramatically announced that they were stepping down from their roles in the royal family and moving to America. They said that they um, valued their privacy and could no longer tolerate living under the white hot glare of the spotlight. Their stated reasoning may have been you know, convincing to you at the time if you were dumb enough to believe that Meghan Markle is the sort of girl who marries into royalty because she values her privacy. But if you're at least intelligent enough to score higher than an earthworm on an IQ test, then you knew that Harry and Meghan were seeking attention, not shirking from it. And if you're in this latter category, the uh, smarter than an earthworm demographic, you, you, you have uh, not then been surprised to find that this private and humble ex-royal couple has spent the last couple of years seeking attention wherever they can find it. They've done multiple tell-all interviews, one conducted by Oprah. They've signed book deals. They've signed multi-million dollar podcast deals. Megan has posed for literally every magazine cover in existence outside of maybe Car and Driver magazine, although maybe she got around to that too. They have sought a very peculiar form of privacy indeed, a form that involves appearing on every sort of medium, willfully attracting attention, and then monetizing that attention. This is the kind of private life they wish to lead. And now they're going to continue their privacy tour by starring in a Netflix docu-series, which premieres this weekend. And here's the trailer. It's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened? You hear that? That is the sound of hearts breaking all around the world. She's becoming a royal rock star. And then... Everything changed. There's a hierarchy of the family. You know, there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. There was a war against Meghan to suit other people's agendas. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. The pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. I realized they're never going to protect you. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. No one knows the full truth. We know the full truth. How many times are they going to milk this exact same? No one has heard this before. No one knows the full truth. We, we, we've, we've heard you tell the supposed full truth about 46 times in the last year. So I believe the official title of this is uh, Give Me Attention, the movie. Either that or they're just calling it Harry and Meghan, which is the same idea either way. Of course, everything that Meghan Markle is involved in, starting with her marriage, is at its core a publicity stunt and a sham. And this is, film is no different. In fact, eagle-eyed viewers have noticed that between the two main trailers released for the series, at least three of the images in these trailers of media harassing and hounding the couple are taken out of context from events where neither Harry nor Meghan were even present. BBC.com has this report. A photograph of paparazzi appears in, in the first trailer just before a clip of Harry saying he had to do everything that he could to protect his family. However, it is said to have actually been taken at a Harry Potter premiere five years before the Duke and Duchess even met. A clip in the second trailer, which apparently illustrates paparazzi hounding the couple, was actually taken when former model Katie Price arrived at Crawley Magistrate's Court last December. Shortly before that shot, the Duke of Sussex is heard speaking of the pain and suffering of women marrying into the royal family, adding that he did not want history to repeat itself, as a clip shows men apparently chasing someone with cameras. The clip was, in fact, recorded as Price arrived to be sentenced over a drunk driving charge. One section of the second trailer also features clips of reporters, photographers, and cameramen apparently in close pursuit of the couple. However, one media crush seen by viewers was not targeting the royal family, right, the royal couple, but rather President Donald Trump's former loyal lawyer, Michael Cohen, leaving his New York apartment in 2019 to serve time in prison for financial crimes, campaign finance violations, and lying to Congress. Profiling, surveillance, data harvesting, there are a lot of things I don't like about tech giants, but uh, there's only so much I can do. I don't have $44 billion to go buying up Twitter. I wish. The good news is that you don't have to be a billionaire to take a stand. For less than $7 a month, in fact, you can join me and fight back against big tech by using ExpressVPN. Big tech companies make their money by tracking your online activity, your searches, your video history, everything you click on. They sell that data to advertisers who target you. ExpressVPN helps you an, uh, anonymize much of your online presence by hiding your IP address so they can't match any activity back to you. I use ExpressVPN on all of my devices to make it much more difficult for big tech companies to exploit my data for their own profits. 
It's incredibly easy to use. I just tap one button on my phone or computer and I'm free to roam the internet, free from big tech's prying eyes. If you don't like big tech tracking you and selling your personal data for profit, fight back by using ExpressVPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash Matt Wall Show right now. Get extra three, uh, three extra months for free of ExpressVPN. That's expressvpn.com slash Matt Wall Show. expressvpn.com slash Matt Wall Show. So it's pretty hilarious that they crammed three misleading images just into the trailer. Who knows how many lies they'll be able to pack into the full series. It's also grotesque, but that's par for the course with Harry and Meghan. These two may have ostensibly stepped down from their royal occupation, but only to exchange one throne and one crown for another, because they are now king and queen victim. And it is a symbolic figurehead type position, just like the one they left. But it also carries a considerable amount of power in our culture, not to mention profit potential. They are, in many ways, the perfect representation of victimhood in modern Western culture. This is the service they're providing us, is by, is by showing us what victimhood really entails these days. They are our victimhood mascots. Immensely privileged, absurdly wealthy, living lives of unimaginable comfort, surrounded by ostentatious luxury. They're celebrated by the media, they're fawned over, they're applauded. Yet they can't stop whining. They are never happy. None of their riches, no amount of public adulation will convince these spoiled, self-centered brats that they're anything but oppressed and downtrodden. And what's more, this is another hallmark of modern victimhood, they maintain their victimhood delusions even as they viciously attack the ones they claim to be helplessly victimized by. So Harry has uh, turned on his own family, aired their dirty laundry, monetized its airing, and yet still pretends to be somehow the injured party. Now, are their tears fake? Is it all an act? Well, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that Meghan Markle is a sociopath who has probably never experienced a fully authentic human emotion in her life. But no, in the sense that, you know, to the extent that they can feel emotions at all, they are actually upset. I, I believe that part. Because part of the curse of being a narcissist is that you're never satisfied. No matter how much attention you get, it's never enough. So long as you remain still standing on a planet that revolves around the sun rather than around you. So, so long as there are people out there living lives that have nothing to do with you and talking about things other than you and prioritizing their own well-being over yours. So long as any of that remains the case, you will feel persecuted because narcissism is insatiable. There are no happy narcissists, no content narcissists. Whatever they have, they should always have more in their minds. Whatever anyone else does or says, they should have always done or said something different. They're always being attacked. They're always being conspired against. Everyone is whispering about them behind their backs, they think. Narcissism and victimhood go hand in hand. Our culture of victimhood is really then a culture of narcissism. And Harry and Meghan are its perfect representatives and creations. And for that, they are today canceled. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.